Chances are, if you're a Twitch streamer or a streamer in general, you're probably going to need a gaming scene at one point or another. These scenes are supposed to be simplistic. Sure, they can be more extravagant if you want, but the point of a gaming scene or the reason why people go to a stream for gameplay or see a person play a game is the game. So laying out the proper layers and laying them out just right needs to be something that you need to consider very seriously because if something's off, people are going to pick up on it right away and you need to figure out the right way or figure out a good foundation so you can make it your own so that people stay and so that it looks good on stream. Welcome back to the Rebel Tech Channel. I'm Justin and in this video we are going to be talking about a gameplay scene in your OBS setup. This will include uh, the gameplay, face cam, uh, possibly other parts uh, if you do decide to go that route, but mainly the face cam and the gameplay. But before we get started, if you have any questions, comments, or anything whatsoever on OBS, on OBS scenes, or anything like that, gear, tech, anything whatsoever, please leave it down in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions you guys have. And if you want to ask me more directly, I stream every Saturday afternoon right around 4 or 5 o'clock. I stream about an hour on this channel and then I switch over to Twitch where you can see my setup. It's always evolving and always changing because I have ideas all the time and I try to elaborate and try to enhance the um, experience for the viewer uh, as much as I can. And if you found this video helpful, entertaining or anything whatsoever, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Okay, so let's roll right into this. Let's talk about OBS and gaming scenes. Now, why do you need a gaming scene? Well, if you're a gamer and you want to stream games, you're going to need a scene with gameplay. Now, there's probably two categories you're going to lie into. One is straight gameplay. And if you see my OBS right here, you can see that we have my face cam, which C920 up there, and a gameplay scene all around. The border here, I made it myself, and uh, the mask and all. Uh, if you want a video on that, there is one out right now of me talking about setting up a scene for just chatting with that. So as I said in the intro, making gameplay scenes should be very simple. Of course, there's plenty of add-ons and things you could give to this scene, but at its core, you have your face cam, with a border, probably, and your gameplay. There's widgets, there's there's browser sources, there's all types of stuff, but I'm not getting into that in this video. This video is just getting a foundation for your gameplay scene. And like I did with my just chatting scene video, I will be going through every layer from top to bottom, or bottom to top, technically, and building it so you guys can understand. So as I did in that video, let's shut off all these scenes or all these sources, I should say. And what we're going to do, I have my window capture here. So if I decide to do a capture of a game on my computer, a PC game, whatever it is, that's an option. But for this example, we are going to be using a Xbox source. So right now you're looking at Assassin's Creed Unity game I've been playing on my stream and that's your source at this point if you are just a person who wants to have gameplay just straight gameplay i wouldn't recommend it because chances are people aren't just going to come and watch just a game unless you're very uh good at a game and they're just looking for highlights or if you're looking they're looking for someone to play professionally without any commentary sure but if that's what you're going to do that's it I hope that helped. But if you want to add commentary to this without a face cam, it's very simple. You're going to add your audio input. You have this drop down menu of all the 
options you have for audio inputs. You select it and that's about it. Very simple. So those two layers are very important if you are doing just gameplay and commentary. That's it, then that's it for you. But if you wanna go a little bit further and you wanna start adding a face cam, you feel comfortable putting your face on your stream. Now, and I totally understand some people don't feel very comfortable putting their face out on the stream and just wanna talk. In my first couple of videos on my gaming channel, when I, a couple of years, oh, actually, four, th three to four years ago, I had a gaming channel. The Ghetto Happy uh, YouTube channel was started with just me doing commentary with gameplay. I wasn't very comfortable with my face on things, so now I am. And eventually I evolved, I used the green screen for a while, I uh, used borders on my stream and things like that, but so now the next thing is adding a face cam. And I won't go into crazy in depth of the actual layers involved with that face cam because that's a separate video of me building that. So if you wanna watch that, at the end of this, I'll link it. I'll link the whole playlist of all my OBS stuff. And uh, there'll also be a playlist for my Adobe stuff. These tutorials and tips and tricks are just simple stuff. Just things that I've picked up along the course of a couple years of building my uh, resume and all that stuff. Also, the past seven months of seriously making content. The reason why I say that is because... I'm not looking to be like the greatest teacher of this. I'm looking to give some simple foundation uh, for people who are trying to just create stuff from the beginning. Like if you're just a beginner, this is very much so uh, made for people who are just beginning and just starting out and trying to make it. I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for them. Now back into it. Let's go into the face cam. In my face cam video, I obviously have a... Uh, a folder that I show putting all the uh, components. As you can see here within the face cam folder, technically it's a group, but I call it a folder because that is a folder. You have your source, meaning your camera. So let's put the camera on and it's the C920 up there. So you could use this if you have a C920. I have a tough time getting the colors just right, but this is not terrible, to be honest. It's not perfect, but for a webcam that's, I guess, four or five years old at least, it's pretty good. So as you can see here, what you're gonna have is your webcam. And this is the webcam without the border. It has a mask. And if I was to go into that, into the filters and take off the mask, you'll see that it's full. But if you wanna use a border or something specific, you have to add a mask or make the border square or rectangular to fit that. Otherwise it looks a little silly if it's leaking out one of the sides. So we'll go back into the filters, we'll engage that again. The mask is on. Now, I have a media source here. Now that's if you have an animated uh, border like if some gradient works and stuff like that i've had them in the past uh i just wanted to make my own and right now i don't have the skill set to make my own perfect so that's why i have a still image as my border so we're going to engage that this is the one that i made and of course, like I said, I'm going to be elaborating on it further and I'll be making it more in depth uh, as a still. And then eventually when I feel more comfortable, I'll make it animated and everything like that. So to recap that little section there, face cam folder right here, it's easy. You just select your items. Like if you were to select these three, right click and then make a group out of them. It basically does just that and you could open them up. So now that we have the face cam, the border, the mask with the face cam to fit the border, and your gameplay, along with the audio source, this is pretty much like 90% of everybody's stream setup uh, who does gameplay. Chances are you're not going to need much more than this. Okay, so 
we went through the whole setup very simple very bare bones a nice foundation for your gaming scene now after this you could always add follow alerts subscribe alerts uh any alert whatsoever with a simple browser source use stream elements to figure it out if you're using vanilla obs obviously if you're using uh stream labs or any other uh other one version of obs that has uh external help uh you can use those as well but if you're using vanilla obs you just add those sources and go along with the regular process of setting up that source or that scene yeah that source that's the right word source and scene very hard thing to uh figure out kind of like if you're uh, British or American with a series or a season. All right, so that is your gameplay scene with a face cam building off that gameplay as your source. Uh, I didn't say this before, but obviously if you want your video capture to pick up uh, your specific source, all you gotta do is use the drop down menu. I mentioned this with the face cam, it works the same way, just a video capture device source is all you need and if you're using like an elgato one or if you're using one built into your pc it works all the same way just select it on the drop down menu so thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed it hope it was helpful and just gave you a nice idea of what to do and how to start this process of making a gaming scene and all this stuff involved with obs it can be very intimidating as i said as it was to me but if you just take your time and go off these steps and learn some more as you move along don't just take my word for it look up other videos and uh explore mess up make mistakes so that you know not to do those things and also you could learn how to manipulate it in a way that fits you better my scene is my scene and it's going to evolve like yours should also if you have any comments leave it down in the comments section and if you want to ask me more directly or just chat with me check out this scene that i have here and the evol the evolution of it to come in the future uh every saturday afternoon around four or five o'clock whenever i get my button gear uh i go about an hour on my youtube channel and then i go for the rest of the stream on twitch twitch.tv slash ghetto happy give me a follow over there and you know when i go live as well and as always be safe be kind if you go out please wear a mask and I will see you in the next video. I don't know why it's so intense. Is it raining outside? Oh, it is raining outside. Why aren't you guys saying anything? Holy crap.